put tap water under a microscope at 400x magnification and found an entire ecosystem of living creatures. What I'm about to show you is swimming in your drinking water right now. This is regular tap water from my kitchen sink, the same water you drink, cook with, and make coffee from. It passed all city water quality tests and looks crystal clear to the naked eye. But here's what they don't tell you. Safe to drink doesn't mean sterile. So I collected samples from my tap, bottled water, and filtered water to see what's really in there. Under the microscope, dot dot dot. Oh my god, there are things moving. These tiny organisms are called copepods microscopic crustaceans, about the size of a dust particle. And those rotating spheres? Those are rotifers, wheel animals with tiny hair-like structures that blob pulsing in the corner. An amoeba. The EPA allows these in drinking water because, technically, they're not harmful. But watching them swim around is dot 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 unsettling. New York City's tap water is famous for containing copepod steeny shrimp relatives that are actually considered kosher because you cucky you will unsee them without magnification. Then there are nematodes microscopic worms that wiggle through the water. Most municipal water has between 10 to 100 organisms per liter. Even that bottle of purified spring water, I found three different species that survived the bottling process. Before you panic, these organisms are generally harmless. Your stomach acid kills them instantly and humans have been drinking them forever. However, if you have a compromised immune system, doctors do recommend filtering or boiling. I tested filtered water completely clear. Zero organisms. A simple carbon filter removes 99% of these 